Oh, hello, over here. No, no, you're entirely right, my dear customer. I am a potion seller indeed. Now, what are you looking for? Ingredients for your own brews? Perhaps a dragon tooth potion or a devil's laughter in a bottle? Very popular, by the way. Or maybe it is, if I dare say, a love potion for the person who stole your heart? Pardon my gossiping. Oh, you simply want to take a look at potions in a shop, I see. Well then, take a look. But I must warn you, it is really dangerous in this little shop of mine. So try not to touch or break any. Oh my. Brief, very brief. Okay, what in God's name? No, 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 don't touch it and try not to breathe in too much of it, or else you're probably going to faint. Let me, let me clean that real quick. No, don't be sorry. It's fine. Stuff happens. You can breathe now normally. It really is safe now. Really, it's nothing. <laughs> you only shattered one of the many glasses that are full of sleeping potion that must sit for a bit until I can actually sell it. That's why you shouldn't breathe it in and especially not touch it since it's still a bit dangerous. And... Well, that is the tale of a hippogriff. Please don't touch it. Thank you. Oh, uh, you have an idea what you want to buy. Well, then ask right away and I see what I can do for you, dearest customer. You saw the posters outside. Yes, I, uh, I do sell true happiness in bottles, but I'm not quite sure if you really need it. I mean, it is really strong and works in the wrong dosage, basically like a drug. And I'm talking about the really bad stuff, if you understand what I mean. Why is it hanging outside then? Well... Okay, I want to be honest here, you seem to be a really nice person. And I just don't want you to buy this kind of stuff. The poster is hanging outside because most of the people who live in this area are aware of its effect and the magic I do here. And on top of that, is this my potion, my top seller, so I need more advertisement. But you're clearly not from here, and dare I say, you went for sheer entertainment reasons to my shop, which means you probably don't have that much of a clue when it comes to magic. Oh, I'm, I'm deeply sorry if I overstepped any boundaries. It's okay. Well then, uh, may I suggest one of my potions? Okay. Um, the way your eyes are sparkling and your aura is shining, what about a regaining potion? How I knew. Well, it was quite obvious. You seem like you are desperately trying to find something, perhaps an object or a person, but maybe it is something way more complicated than that. Let me guess, my dear customer. A feeling? No, no. A simple memory that brings back that one feeling. Am I right? Well then. In that case, you'd need something else than a facile regaining potion, more like a mixture of the Seeker's Brew and the Antidote for the memory loss one. Why well, yes, you need the memory loss antidote. Because it's taken an hour before you stepped again into the shop, the memory loss potion, my lovely customer. Here, I'll give it to you first. Perhaps that will help you remember me and the purpose of your visit. And maybe, just maybe, that will solve your entire problem. Yes, you took it, because you wanted to step another first time into the shop and get to know me. 
Oh, no need to be embarrassed. Now, take the potion, and all things will get a whole lot clearer. There you go. Now, sit down and wait a few minutes. Hello again. And? Do you remember me now? Yes. My name is Mary, and you are? Exactly. Do you know what happened? Yes? Oh, that's wonderful. I think that was enough trying out my day. Would you look at the time, my love? It's already so late. It was indeed quite amusing today. I was still scared that you wouldn't remember me, your wife, after all. But I think the both of us did a great job. I can't believe this was after all your idea. Though, I think we should get some rest for now. I mean, you were quite the exhausting customer after all. <laughs> hey, I wasn't serious. Unless... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs>